In news around the bluffs, the County Bluffs Police Department holds one last meeting for this study group helping determine the location of the department's next headquarters. The event takes place on Tuesday, February 16th at the Council Bluffs Community Hall. At the meeting, members of the community talk with the 11-person study group in charge of helping plan for the new station and give their own input on where they think the next location should be. Based on what public input we got, we'll incorporate that into our recommendations, but then uh, we'll pass all of our information off the City Council and let them decide on uh, what best uh, course of action to take. Currently, a consulting firm is going through those recommendations from the community and city group and will present the ideas at a future city council meeting. The Union Pacific Railroad Museum holds a special event to celebrate Black History Month. It takes place on Saturday, February 20th throughout the museum. Members of BIN, the Union Pacific Black Employee Network, are spread throughout the museum, informing visitors about contributions of African Americans to the railroads. Started back in 1979, we started to explain to them some of the reasons why we started that organization at Union Pacific and how it's grown today uh, to over 1,400 members uh, and about 14 chapters uh, throughout our rail network. This event is also part of the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service. The museum will host more special occasions like this during 2016 as part of the celebration. And wrapping up things in news around the bluffs, area wineries team up to celebrate Mardi Gras. February 20th and 21st, the Western Iowa Wine Trail, made up of six wineries along the Lust Hills, hosts the event. Participants travel to each winery, sampling various products and sample different styles of Cajun food. Uh, it's, it's a chance to get out. It's something that um, 10 years ago, um, there was nothing like it. So as a group, we're pretty proud. Uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of hard work, but uh, I think um, according to the feedback, people love it. The group is set to host more themed events like this one throughout the year. If you'd like to learn more about the Western Iowa Wine Trail, the website is westerniowawinetrail.com.